Michigan State Police continue to investigate a fatal crash involving a bicyclist early this morning. Yeah, our Lauren Coomer spoke with the son of the man killed in that crash, and she joins us live now. Lauren. Yeah, Derek, Jeremiah Conley tells me his father rode over six miles to and from work every day for the past decade. And this road here, here in Oshtemo Township, was part of his regular route. And as he was biking to work early this morning, investigators say he was hit by a vehicle right here by this storage facility. I did it for about 14 years. Jeremiah Conley says his dad, David Conley, rode his bike to and from work every day from his apartment in Oshtemo Township to the north side of Kalamazoo. On Wednesday morning, he got a call no family member ever wants to receive. I got a call this morning that my dad had been hit by a motorist on his bike coming down the road. Michigan State Police saying the accident happened just before 6 a.m. on KL Avenue. David was riding his bike eastbound towards Drake Road when a vehicle headed the same way hit him. Investigators say accident reconstructionists were still determining what exactly happened. He was dead and killed instantly. In the United States, about 800 people a year are killed riding their bicycle. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, in 2019, there were 846 bicyclists killed on roadways in the United States, but most of those deaths occurred in the evening hours. Paul Rakoff with Bike Friendly Kalamazoo saying there's a cycling death in this country for about every 10 million miles that are biked. The simplest part of that is that you only see what you're looking for and you have to be concerned and just as you are concerned that deer are there, you have to be concerned that pedestrians are there, uh, folks in wheelchairs, and folks on their bicycle. That's why Jeremiah is speaking out about his father, not wanting other families to have to go through what he is. Everybody out there, just be cautious of the bike riders, you know, use your P's and Q's when you see a biker move over the side of the road. And I don't think we should ever come to accept a bicyclist being killed. We should always be saying, let's look out for each other. Jeremiah and his wife were actually just out here a few minutes ago and placed these flowers and flags in memory of his father. Michigan State Police say the driver of the vehicle was not hurt and is cooperating with them as they continue their investigation. They say this serves as a good reminder for drivers to be mindful of bicyclists on the road and leave at least three feet when passing them. Reporting live in Oshtemo Township, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. Yeah, sad story. Thank you for that, Lauren. Of course, we all remember right in that same area in Kalamazoo. Yeah. Five years ago, almost to the day now, right. was that horrible Kalamazoo bicycle accident, too. Many, so, many cyclists uh, killed. you know, on that note, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration does have some good advice for those who do want to be safe there out on the road. Yeah, of course, make sure you wear your equipment to protect you and make sure you are visible. Always tuck your tie, uh, tuck and tie your shoelaces, excuse me, and your pant legs in so they don't get caught in your bike chain. That could cause issues. Make sure, of course, you drive with the flow of traffic in the same direction, obey street signs, signals, and road markings, just like those who are driving cars. Mars.